Good morning, Boulder Creek. Today is Friday, January 31st. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, my name is Jordan Hughes and I am a senior. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for a moment of silence. Here are your morning announcements. College and Career Fair. Don't forget to join us at College and Career Fair on February 4th at the district office from 4 to 6 p.m. And you may be a winner of a laptop, iPad, gift cards, and more prizes. Come and join Ballroom Dance Club today after school in Miss McAndrew's room. Come have fun and learn some new moves. Thursday, February 6th, the Paw Players invites you to the Black Box Theater, room 117, for a quick informational meeting about upcoming events, including the Winter Musical Grease, End of Year Banquet, Thespian Introductions, and upcoming theater workshops. The meeting will begin at 2.15 and last about 30 minutes. At lunch today, the Performing Arts, World Language Club, and Mandarin classes will present cultural traditions for Chinese New Year. The dance department will be performing an exotic lion dance, chasing away the evil spirits and bringing in good spirits. Celebrate the Year of the Horse. Boys volleyball tryouts are February 10th at 11th in the small gym from 3 to 5 p.m. Make sure you turn in your athletic packet to Miss Tina Binns in the athletic office. Many students have part-time jobs. We need a little extra money to pay for gas, insurance, or Thursday Chick-fil-A. One of the newest fast food places in Anthem is also a popular place for students to work. Wendy serves up a warm sandwich to its customers. Most, most of those burgers are prepared by Boulder Creek students. I've worked at Wendy's since about the end of July, start of August, about five months. My specific job, I mostly do register. I can either do the drive through the front counter, but I can do grill, fries, sandwiches, doesn't matter to me. I can do it all. Yes, I do like working at Wendy's because uh, two of my best friends do work at Wendy's with me, and then I, I've made more friends here. It's fun to work with them. And, uh, make money. I enjoy making money. It's nice. I've been working here for about two months now. Uh, they usually put me on the grill. Sometimes I work fries. I do a lot of dishes. Sometimes I don't like working here. Other times I do like working here. It just depends on the day I'm having. Hoop coming game tonight. Come support your BC boys basketball team for their hoop coming game against Ironwood. Varsity starts at 7 p.m. in the main gym. Remember, your badge gets you in a guest for free. Come support! With just a few basketball games left, Mitzi Fitzgerald and Santa Mendoza up, catch up with the basketball coaches. I like the teamwork that is required in the game and that it's constant and all players have to play offense and defense and you have to be capable in all things. Because my father was a basketball coach and I grew up in the gym um, and I always loved basketball. Uh, it was a passion of mine and, and I always knew even in high school that that's what I wanted to get back to. The things I look for in a player are total dedication and a player that's willing to fight for every inch on the floor and for themselves and for their team. We can always teach guys different skills. Um, but sometimes having the right attitude and having the right work ethic um, is something that's hard to find in a player, and that's what I always look for. Our goal is to get better every day and to come together as a group and be unified as a team and to do everything we can to reach our full potential. Um, our goal every game is to go 1-0. Um, we have other goals that we want to attain, but before we attain those goals, uh, we look at 1-0 each week um, in each game. And from there, uh, we'll kind of look later on uh, where we're at. I hope that our team will exceed our expectations. I hope that we will improve every day. And I hope that, and I know that if we do that at the end of the year, we'll be pleased with the results. I think we'll do very well. So far, we've shown a lot of growth, and we've had a really tough schedule, and the guys have played very well. Can I dunk? Can I dunk? What kind of question is that? It wouldn't look pretty. Of course I can dunk. Um, so far this year, it's been, uh, it's been fun. I probably have one of my, I got to experience my first buzzer beater um, by Kennedy McGrath when we played Millennium. Um, those are always uh, fun, especially when, you know, if you miss the shot, it's a loss. So, um, you know, so far as a coach, uh, that's probably been one of my highlights. My favorite experience as a coach is always tied to the 
um, the little things that go on amongst the team, the jokes, the, the good times. Um, teaching them good work ethics um, and that if you listen to, listen to your coaches, um, you're a coachable kid that's going to take you very far in life, not just on the basketball court. Uh, besides basketball, we want to teach that uh, who we are as people and uh, what we represent is more important than any win or loss record. Uh, that how we do in the classroom comes before how we do on the court um, and that we are great ambassadors to our school um, out, inside and outside of our community. Kaylin Shaw caught up with the cafeteria manager, Mrs. Ahern, to see what it is like to run a high school cafeteria. My name is Lori Ahern, and I am the cafeteria manager. I started in food service 18 years ago, just being a stay-at-home mom and looking for something to do a few hours a day while my kids were in school. There. Kind of a whole many tasks that happen. Um, kind of starts the day before from when we start pulling the food, um, panning it up, getting it ready for the next day. We come in, we prep breakfast, uh, the ladies bake cookies in the morning. starts with then the cook after breakfast starting all the food. The girls make all the salads. Everything gets made fresh daily. Each and every line has to not only get set up, they have to prep their food, get it ready. Um, then we serve you guys and at the end of the day there's a whole lot of dishes going on in the cafeteria. get to be late to lunch. We don't get to send out an email or announcement system 15 minutes late, so we have to coordinate all that. But i got a good team of ladies here. You guys got a great set of lunch ladies that crank it and get it out. That's all we have for today. Stay classy, Boulder Creek, and have a wonderful weekend.